Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. You know, most of the time when we talk to our elected officials, we talk about what they're doing in Sacramento, but we're going to bring it on home right now and talk to uh, State Senator Connie Leva about some of the things that are going on in her district here. Welcome. Thank you very much, Leslie. Very happy to be here and excited to talk about community things. Yeah, you know, community, you bring some events. Um, most recently, you've had a volunteer income tax assistance yes. program. You know, for people who couldn't make it, give us some of the takeaway hot tips from there. So VITA is a program that helps uh, people with a $53,000 or less income uh, get their taxes done for free. We partnered with uh, Betty Yee, the controller's office. We had one on the 7th of March and another one on March 27th. So folks can come in and we'll, they will get their taxes done for free. If um, people are, you know, the, the event has passed and they're sitting there, it's, it's intimidating doing your taxes. Absolutely. There, there are these forms and it's an important thing. Um, what are a couple things to keep in mind? Well, a lot of folks don't know about the earned income tax credit. They don't know what they get. The deductions they can receive for having children. So for me, as an elected official, this is one of the things I really wanted to do is bring things into the community and this will help make sure that people pay their taxes but get any breaks that they have coming to them. Yeah, okay. Um, also, you have been working with a women's summit. Uh, what are some of the um, important issues being discussed? Well, it's amazing to me that here we are in 2015 and there really are still so many women's issues out there. So on March 27th, uh, we are having a women's summit. It's at Chafee Community College, the Chino location. Uh, Dr. Soraya from Cal Poly will be our keynote speaker. And we're just going to talk about a variety of issues that affect women every day, young women, women who are working. So very excited about that, educating women, making sure they know what they can do out there. You know, in a era of equality. Sometimes I wonder uh, what, how are women's issues different from men's issues? Which what Great are questions uh, and I, I wish that they uh, were different but they, uh, they were the same but they are kind of different. Pay equity is always still a big issue for women so we want to make sure that women know uh, what they can do to make sure they're being paid equally with men. Women's health issues are always of the highest importance so those will be some of the things that we're talking about. You know a lot of people are changing subjects here but a lot of people might not know that this area has the largest concentration of mobile homes uh, throughout the state and you're working with residents of mobile home parks and also the owners of mobile home parks to have a more uh, happy living situation. That's exactly right and I am happy to be on the select committee, the chair of the select committee on mobile homes and you're right we have the highest concentration here in SD20 so we want to make sure that these uh, mobile home parks are, are they're good for everyone, that they're a place that the managers know how to manage, the residents are in a safe place. So we're going to hold a town hall so that we can hear from both to make sure we're doing everything we can. Well, what's going to come out of the town hall? What will you do with this information? Do you think it will lead to some sort of potential legislation? Absolutely. Or are you just trying to say, can't we all get along yeah. here? What, what do you think you're going to do there? Uh, we are looking for some potential legislation, but I don't want to be a legislator who thinks she knows everything. So I want to hear from the residents and the managers and see what we can do to help them. There must be something that sparked this thought with we need to get in there, we need to discuss these things. What are you hearing from the residents, from the owners that needs to be addressed? Well for me personally it was just visiting a few mobile home parks and seeing the vast difference. Some are run very well, very nice, others very different situations. So it seems to me that maybe there's some different things going on. We want to make it a little bit more uniform, easier for managers to manage, and a better place for the, the, uh, the residents to live. Okay, recently um, very quickly, I have 15 seconds. Yes. But uh, you helped out the Ontario Little League. Why'd you do that? What'd you do? You know, I think that kids, uh, sports are a great way to keep kids off the street, keep the, give them something to be passionate about. They needed a little bit of help, so we were there to help them. And what'd you do? We donated some money for oh, the field. Fantastic. All right, thanks a lot, uh, Senator Connie Leva, for being here today. Thank you, Leslie. We're glad you were here to join us as well. I'm Leslie Layton.